so the concept here is guys how why we get a stale element exception what is the reason behind that so stale means something is not fresh okay it got stale that food got stale so obviously we cannot eat that same thing if element got stale on the page selenium won't be able to interact with that but what do you mean by stale actually what is the purpose of a stale okay what is the purpose of a stale so the stale is something is gone from the page something is not available on the page now maybe page got refreshed sometime what happens that okay uh, automatically page got refreshed or maybe that element is not visible on the page right xpath is fine your xpath is absolutely fine id is also available but that element somewhere is not visible on the page in that case how will you do that so i'll show you one diagram this is the exact thing guys you have to explain at the time of interview so let's see this is the web page in web page there are many components are available right let's say typical e-commerce site many complement co uh, components are available like this right some of the com com uh, uh, components are normal components some of the different elements are available but some of the components or sections are ajax call asynchronous javascript xml call ajax call let's see the these calls are ajax ajax specific sections ajax specific elements are available these two let's see some images are coming or some product information is coming something like that these are ajax calls are available let me okay so what do you mean by ajax so this is the web page okay so ajax means asynchronous javascript calls okay so ajax i'm going to refresh this page and click on refresh but button over here the full okay the page will be refreshed now the entire page will be refreshed now let's see after 10 seconds what happens suddenly only this particular section got refreshed only this section got refreshed only this particular element got refreshed happening through ajax call so this is the advantage with ajax that the no need to refresh your page entirely sometimes what happens that okay remember that uh, while booking the flight tickets on make my trip or goibibo.com only the price section is getting refreshed only the amount section is getting refreshed that is called ajax call the entire page is not getting refreshed only the specific section on the web page is getting refreshed that is called ajax component or ajax call so all our other elements are normal component but this is ajax component so especially first time let's see that uh, one element is there let's see my element name is uh, username not username let's see some take some name let's see uh, 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 total price is equal to 5000 usd right so this is the element is available over here and you want to interact over here with this particular element total price equal to 5000 usd or maybe some button is also there some button is also over here and this is the ajax component what happens that okay page you are writing driver dot find element by dot x path or maybe driver dot find element by dot id some id is there and dot you are clicking on a button like this dot click right you are using this code for that you are using some id or maybe by dot name or by dot x path or whatever for the both the things for total price and for button also now what will happen that okay internally selenium how exactly it works <clears throat> it will take this particular element like this right this is the element so for this particular element ele element how exactly internally works selenium will give one
identifier id it will generate automatically that is so it's a unique identifier id unique id and which is dynamic id so one unique id i'm not talking about that id by dot id i'm not talking about i'm talking about identifier id will be associated with element okay internally and this guy selenium in your script right web driver driver right this guy is sitting over here in your script in your code it will interact with this guy total price on the basis of this line so first time it will create this id let's see id is equal to like this some id like this one id will be created like this okay for this particular element first time right the first time the this particular uh, you know total price of button or ajax component is visible on the page now suddenly what happens as this is an ajax call this page got refreshed now the total price is equal to let's see again 5000 or maybe 4000 or maybe 6000 us dollar with the same button and you are saying that okay fine that you have written driver dot find element buy dot id click on this button or click on this or get the text of total price but you see that okay stale element exception not element not found element is found not element not visible element is visible but stale element why suddenly my xpath is not working five seconds or five minutes before it was working fine why suddenly it got staled why suddenly it's not working it's giving a stale element exception because this particular component got refreshed and you never refresh your entire page only this particular section got refreshed and the in the first on the first time web driver created this internal id this identifier id now the next time the id will be changed it will be like this it will be like this okay the first time id was this to interact with this particular element now the moment it got refreshed id has to be changed and this particular id is gone now right so because of this we get a stale element exception that that element still available on the page but due to ajax component got refreshed that's why the id got changed the internal id that unique identifier id got changed right so that's why we have to we get stale element exception now we cannot interact with this element with this particular id okay so that's the problem that's why we get a stale element exception it means on the dom document object model element is still available but the small section of the document object model the html dom model the small section got refreshed the moment it get refreshed this element is this id is gone now this id got expired the food is expired now okay now selenium cannot interact with this element with this id so that's why we get stale element exception so first of all we should never refresh your entire page if you refresh your entire page or complete there are high chances are there that okay your entire script will be failed okay now how to handle a stale element we have to wait for uh, some time using implicitly wait or explicitly wait that's a different story but why we get okay stale element exception a stale element exception we get because of this internal architecture is like that now i'll show you practically okay where exactly this id is getting generated have you ever noticed uh, let me okay let's take this very simple okay i have written this code launching the browser and let me initialize my static web driver okay. 
launching freecrm.com and taking this username web element I'm creating right and then simple username dot send keys I'm passing Naveen K right and uh, same thing for password also I'm creating create the web element for password and let me check for password name is password and password dot send keys and I'm passing let's see test at the rate one two three okay and I'm not clicking on login button now I'm putting a debugger over here debug point and we will debug this code how exactly internally it's working so right click on it debug as Java application not run as Java application we will see debug as Java application okay so Chrome is getting launched and then press F6 function F6 so this particular line will be executed line number 21 pre CRM application is getting launched now it's coming on line number 23 now see these guys uh, okay press function F6 once again now this username mouse over on this particular username okay and then this element username having some properties I'll show you having some properties that okay this is a name equal to username or something like this now what I'm gonna doing over here that uh, you can see that this ID have you ever noticed this particular ID 0 0.862 something something and hyphen one this is called this ID I'm talking about this ID I'm talking about. because of this ID because of this ID guys this particular ID selenium interacts with the element selenium is going to interact with this username with this ID now somehow this page got refreshed okay somehow this page got refreshed let's let's refresh this page and let's see okay so there are high chances are there that now we have already taken the id there are high chances are there that okay that particular id is also expired okay and press f6 now there are it's not give i'm not saying 100 percent that it will throw a stale element exception but that's the only reason that it's giving you the state element exception see if you run what is the error you are getting stale element exception guys a stale element ref reference element is not attached to the page document why because I because I refresh my page and that ID got expired now you can say that okay Naveen how can you do I mean how can it is possible because this username, this by dot name, username, name is already available. My xpath and by dot name is absolutely working fine. Then why it is not working? Because I refreshed my page and that ID got changed. Okay, this particular ID got changed now. This ID got expired. So the moment it got expired, now Selenium cannot interact. So this is Selenium. This is that web element the connection is happening between these two guys because of this ID now this ID got expired okay and now selenium not cannot interact because you refresh this page or maybe this due to edges component automatically this section got refreshed or the entire page got refreshed it could be any reason so this ID got changed so that's why we are getting element stale element exception okay but if you don't refresh it will work see I'm going to run it now We launch the application entering username and password properly okay so let me run it again and show you without refreshing the page now
in the debugging mode. So I'll debug it once again. It will launch your free CRM application. I'll press F6 for the next line execution. So line number 21 is getting executed. You have to press F6 until this line number 23 is highlighted now. Now I'll check again. I press F6. Username ID got generated. This time new ID is there. Now see new ID is there. Okay, this particular ID. And we are not sure that how exactly Selenium is creating this ID. It's up to them. So we are not bothered about it. We are just bothered about that ID is getting generated. But I'm not going to refresh my page. The moment I refresh, ID will be expired. Or maybe this is an Ajax component. Only these username password got maybe only this particular section got refreshed. Right? Only username password field got refreshed. Then it will not work. So what do you have to do? Username dot send keys. Now I'm gonna press again F6. The ID is still there. I'm gonna press F6. Now see this is working. It's entering the VNK. But now I refresh my page once again. Or let's not refresh. Okay, let's see. And now for password also press F6. Now for password, there is another ID got created for element number two. Can you see that? Right? 0 0.21, something like that, hyphen two. Now to interact to password field also using Selenium, it's using this particular ID. This particular ID it's you. But in between again, if page gets refreshed, it will give you a stale element. So it will not perform any action. But I'm not going to refresh my page and I'm pressing F6, executing this line, see, entering test at the rate one, two, three. And your program is over. So that's why we get guys a stale element exception. That's the only reason behind that. Okay. Most of the people say that, okay, no element is, I mean, not visible or element is visible. See, Naveen K, I mean, this username, password, username field is visible. XPath is fine. Name is fine. ID is fine. I'm talking about by.id is also fine. Everything is fine. Then still why we are getting this issue? Most of the people, they ask questions, that, okay, Naveen, why we are getting this issue? There's a stale element. The stale, it got stale. It's not refresh. I mean, it's not fresh now. The ID got stale actually, that I'm talking about this ID. Element got stale, element never gets stale. ID, this particular ID gets stale actually. This is the actual concept. Okay, so that's all about the stale element exception.